So far, the Poisson distribution has been introduced as a distribution which approximates the binomial distribution when n is large. Here is an example that illustrates that approximation. A rare disease affects 0.2% of the population. Find the probability that a city of 500,000 people has 1,040 or fewer people with that particular disease. In this case, the random variable x is going to denote the number of people in the city that are infected with the disease. When you make that assumption and you assume that each person is a Bernoulli trial, that is they either get the disease or they don't get the disease, and furthermore you assume that each Bernoulli trial is independent, which is an even bigger assumption in this case, if that were to be the case, then x would be binomial with parameters n, which in this case are the 500,000 trials, which corresponds to the 500,000 people, and a probability p of 0 0.002. Now in that particular case, we can write down the probability mass function of the binomial distribution which is 500,000 choose x times p raised to the x power times 1 minus p raised to the n minus x power and that is good for x going from 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. all the way up to 500,000. Now the next step is to calculate the probability that 1,040 or fewer people have the disease and that is the probability x is less than or equal to 1,040 and the probability mass function will get summed from 0 up to 1,040 to calculate that. Now in addition to there being 1,041 terms to add up, which is bad enough, some of those terms, for example, when x is equal to 17, well you now have 500,000 choose 17. Well that's going to involve 500,000 factorial and, su and such. This is going to be a real mess. But this turns out to work out to, to four digits, 0.89. Nine, five. When you send this to R to see if it will choke on the 500,000, it turns out that it doesn't. When you send it this, P binome 1040, and then you put in N and P, and you'll give it an N of 500,000, and you'll give it a P of 0 0.002, it does just fine. It has numerical procedures that won't um, have problems with those factorials and it will return in fact the 0.8995 so that is good news. However with a hand calculator you might get into some trouble and that's why you want to use the Poisson approximation to the binomial. Now that is a legitimate use of the Poisson approximation here because the n in the problem, namely a half of a million, is large so that you can use the Poisson approximation which is going to be done on the next page. So here is solution two. This will be approximate using the Poisson approximation to the binomial distribution. Once again, x will represent the number of people in the city of half a million people that are infected with the disease. And the next thing you do is you set lambda equal to NP. When we first derived the uh, Poisson approximation to the binomial distribution we let mu equals to NP now we let lambda equal NP and that will be 500,000 times 0 0.002 and that turns out to be 1,000. Well 1,000 is the expected number of people that are infected with the disease and X will have in this case an approximately Poisson distribution with a mean of 
1000. So in this case the probability mass function of the Poisson distribution is 1000 to the x e to the minus 1000 divided by x factorial and that's good for x equals 0, 1, 2 and this does go all the way out to infinity and even though there are a half a million people in the city everything from 500,001 and beyond should not be considered but those are very very tiny probabilities so those don't really need to be accounted for. The probability that x is less than or equal to 1040 will be approximately and I put the approximately in here because we are using the Poisson approximation it will be the sum from x equals 0 to 1040 just like before but instead of putting in the binomial probability mass function we'll put in the probability mass function for the Poisson approximation to the normal and instead of getting 0.8995 like we did last time this gives us 0.8993 just off in this fourth digit by a little bit so it does a pretty good job approximating and the way this is calculated in R is you type in PPOS and the two numbers you put in there are X which is a thousand and forty and then you put in your lambda value which is 1000 and it will return the 0.8993 so again the Poisson approximation works well here and it works well because n is large and p is small that's when the Poisson does the best job of approximating the binomial.